So basically, Cash Back Prome is money we can uh, receive from the government to really develop the rugby kind of opportunities in the more deprived areas of Scotland. Uh, for phase six, we're going to be working with 13 kind of secondary schools in the communities where we'll be delivering kind of to 10 to 25 year olds, so quite a broad age spectrum. Uh, we'll be working in primary schools, secondary schools, but also in the community in the evenings as well. I think they get a lot of enjoyment, I think they get engagement, I think they get really positive role models, whether that be a development officer, uh, more engagement with a teacher, engagement with club as well. Uh, I think the mental side of things, the development of confidence, resilience, the kind of softer skills which really come with playing a contact game like rugby are, are so important. I think for the kind of older people, so kind of secondary four and above, a lot of kind of alternative educational opportunities where they can gain kind of SEQF points for whether it's goal setting or developing player programme, which is a programme we run in partnership with Borders College. Um, well, we're obviously the only school in the Highlands, um, so we're in a, we're in a very rural uh, situation. So part of the uh, programme that we're trying to do is engage as many people as possible into the, the programme. We're not a really a, a rugby town as such or uh, a rugby playing school, but the, uh, to generate the the focus on rugby and the, the benefits through the programme is really what we're trying to do. Uh, subsequently, we've been engaging with primary schools. Um, our key focus has been with the BGE S123 and, get, and increasing engagement with all our pupils. And we're now starting to develop our community and senior phase uh, programmes. So I think that's really where we're, we're going with that. Yeah, so um, Larko Academy is based in South Lanarkshire. It's a community school of about 1,200 pupils. When I started there four years ago, there was no rugby team. Um, since then, pre-COVID, we formed a team of S1 and 2 boys, managed to complete a 15-a-side fixture against Carolic it was, and then COVID hit, and since then, it's been trying to build everything back up. So this year and last year, we've been attending the festivals. This year, we had a um, boys S1 team, a boys S2 team, a girls S1 and 2 mixed team. We played a, a DL festival a couple of times. We played at the Glasgow Warriors Spen Festival. And we had a team lined up for a 15 aside S34 team. The fixture fell through, but it was good to see that we still had enough pupils who'd had an experience in the early school years to want to compete at that level. Some playing club rugby, some only experience rugby was through the school. So the aspiration for me moving forward is to grow into the cashback school rugby, take the pupils who are going to be coming in an S1 and try and give them that bug that hopefully by the time they're S3 and 4, they're still involved in the programme, they're wanting to compete more and they're playing locally at a club and they're representing our school and through the community. Scottish Rugby have actually been involved with Cashback for 14 years now, coming on to 15. So how it's evolved, um, this phase coming will be a lot more targeted, working with fewer schools. Uh, so really targeted, kind of focus on 13 communities. Previously, last phase, we worked with 17. Um, before that, there was probably broader engagement, but we're really wanting to target kind of a real quality kind of in, our, in our communities now.